What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel, Carson Coaching, the site that is designed to allow you to become the happiest, healthiest, and strongest version of yourself. So a little bit of change of scenery for today's video. We're talking about sleep. So welcome to my bedroom. So a lot of people don't place an importance on sleep and they really don't understand all the negative consequences that comes with not getting a proper night's sleep and not being well rested. So first of all, some of the ideas that people are overworked, overstressed, and I understand that you know you want to work hard and you want to push yourself, but at the same time, if you're not putting an emphasis on your sleep and your rest and your recovery, then you're not allowing your body to fully recuperate. So, especially for athletes, if you're doing any kind of workout, whether it's strength training or athletic performance training, you're tearing down muscle. And when you're doing that, your body is repairing itself and actually growing when you're sleeping. And same thing, if you're either you're a mom or the, whether you're working a business type job, your productivity will actually decline as your sleep and the quality of your sleep declines. So we're gonna go over a couple things today, how to improve your sleep, how to impact it, some, some hacks in order to you know, find a way to get a better sleep even if you're working with less time. So first of all, I like to tell people to establish some kind of a schedule. It's important to, if you're going to sleep at the same time and trying to wake up at the same time, your body gets into a natural kind of circadian rhythm. And if you're not doing that, then you're gonna suffer the consequences. So not only in terms of your physical health, but a quality night's sleep will also improve your mental health. Think about sleep as the time where your brain can start to defrag itself if it was a computer. You're starting to put everything together and you're starting to relax and recover in terms of your, your mental mindset. Um, one of the, the people that I like to reference in terms of sleep study is uh, Sean Stevenson. He's an author who's written you know, books about sleeping. Fantastic read. Another uh, great reference for me was actually the TB12 method. So Tom Brady's book talked a lot about putting an emphasis on sleep, how and why you should do that. So let's get into it. I think most people realize that sleep is important, but at the same time, they just don't know how to do it or don't know how to you know, improve their quality of sleep. So a couple of different things I'm gonna go over. So your sleep cycle. So basically a sleep cycle is about 90 minutes in duration. And if you're waking up kind of mid sleep cycle, if you're waking up maybe at that 45 minute point, you're gonna wake up, you're gonna feel exhausted, you feel tired, you feel groggy. And if you're waking up kind of at the end of a sleep cycle, you wake up and even if you've gotten you know, less hours sleep, you might feel fantastic in the morning. So that's why starting a schedule and getting your body into a natural rhythm is so important. A couple other ideas. Um, I personally bought a, an expensive mattress, but at the same time, if you think about how much time you're actually spending in bed, you know, virtually half of your life, it's important to spend the money and buy a quality mattress. If you're sleeping on some kind of coils, what they're doing is they're creating pressure points in your body, in your back, wherever it may be, as someone with a back injury, believe me, I know how that goes. So I use a, a memory foam mattress. I think it's great, it kind of contours to your body. Uh, fantastic resource to use, you know, really put some, some, some money and you know, look into what is the kind of the best mattress for you. Another thing that I do, I actually use what are called grounding sheets. So grounding sheets, essentially what they do is they plug in. So there's a wire that goes to the sheets. The sheets actually have silver sewn into the sheet. So this plugs in and the other end goes into a grounding prong. So that bottom third prong from any electrical socket. And what that does is you're creating more of a natural kind of balance. It's almost like sleeping like you were having your feet or your whole body just you know actually touching the earth. What that does is you have all these positive and negative ions in your body. And that you know too much of an excess can build up things like free radical damage, you know, oxidative stress different things in your body that build up that you really don't want. So how I came across grounding is actually from Tour de France athletes. Uh, a lot of those athletes are riding you know, hundreds of miles a day and they have a night to recover and then they're going out and they're getting back on the bike. So a lot of those guys, what they do is they use either grounding sheets or a grounding blanket. There's you know, pads where you can put under your desk at work. Um, the idea is as long as your skin is, any part of your skin is touching it, then you're still getting that, you know, the clearing of that free radical damage. It's the same thing. If you were to, you know, go to the beach or just walk barefoot on the grass, you feel better. And it's not just, you know, this, you know, pseudoscience, it's actual science of, you know, the, the ions in your body and you get to release those as you're sleeping using grounding sheets. Um, another couple things I like to tell people is make your bedroom a serene environment 
just for sleep. You can do the other thing, obviously we know what we're talking about, in, in addition to that, but if you're doing things like you're working or you're, you know, you're watching your phone or whatever it may be, um, that really can throw off that, you know, your circadian rhythm balance. Uh, light has a huge impact. So I use um, blackout curtains as well as blinds uh, to keep my bedroom as dark as possible. And then the same thing in the morning, I, what I try to do is get some kind of sunlight exposure. If it's not sunny outside, then what I use is a day lamp, which actually it'll give you that vitamin D and really kickstart your circadian rhythm into you know, waking up in the morning. Uh, so those are just a couple tricks. Um, aromatherapy, I think, is another great one, especially if you're dealing with any kind of PTSD, night terrors, you're waking up in the middle of the night. Um, smell, I've talked about in other videos, is the closest thing that is tied to memory and you know feeling good. So if you're using things like essential oils or any other kind of aromatherapy you know, you're choosing, it's a great way to help your, your body and your mind relax and get into a better night's sleep. Um, another thing that I do, I keep a dream journal. So when I wake up in the morning, one of the first things that I do is I just try to you know, write down what I was dreaming about. And it, to me, it's a great way to really analyze how your mind is operating. And so you get to see some, some you know, feedback information about what is your mind thinking about. Your subconscious mind is constantly going, it's constantly running. And so to me, dreams are a great insight as to, you know, issues that you may be working on or things that you're just thinking about. Um, another thing that I use is actually this ring. Uh, it's called an aura ring. So that's O-U-R-A. And what that does is it actually helps track your sleep. So think about it as a Fitbit on steroids where it's tracking things like your heart rate, your body temperature. It's tracking um, your heart rate variability. So basically think about as you've seen a graph with a heart rate on it and you have these waves. So what it does is it measures the time in between certain waves in your heart rate. And what that'll do is it'll give you a readout. It goes to an app on your phone and it'll give you this summary in the morning of actually how rested you are. So as an athlete, I think it's fantastic. A lot of professional athletes use them. Um, I know a lot of other Wim Hof Method instructors that use them. Uh, Chris Gethin, who's an absolute monster of a bodybuilder, um, he also uses one. He's talked about that in his podcast and you know different media publications. And what it does is it is it's really giving you that hardcore science readout of exactly how you slept. So as an athlete, from that perspective, I can look at it and say, all right, am I waking up in the morning and is my body really exhausted? Or is it a mental thing? I need to suck it up and get to the gym. So it'll tell you exactly how well your body's recovered. And then you can kind of gear your workouts or your, your day around how that works. Um, another huge impact is the temperature. So one of the things Tom Brady talked about in his book is keeping a cooler temperature in your bedroom. It, it starts to signal to your brain that it's time to wind down. You really want to, you know, snuggle up, have some blankets, you know, cuddle with someone. Um, it's actually, you know, counterproductive to sleep with a pet, but that's the one sleep rule that I break. When I got Bailey as a puppy, he's just sat on the floor in his little bed staring at me like, hey, dude, we're not going to cuddle. And then it was just game over after that. Once I kind of let him into the bed, then, you know, it was all downhill from there. But regardless of that, uh, I really try to keep all devices out of my bedroom. Um, I don't have a TV in my bedroom. I don't use my phone. I do use my phone as my alarm clock, but it's actually in the bathroom down the hall. So I can still hear it go off. And what that forces me to do, which is another great sleep hack, is I can't just reach over and smack the snooze button because it's down the hall. So it forces me, as soon as my alarm goes off, to actually wake up and get up out of bed. And that can be you know, a big challenge for a lot of people. Um, so that's you know, some of the things that I do in terms of putting an emphasis on my sleep. I think it's so important. There's an interesting study that looked at um, combat soldiers and what they did is they, they looked at cases of PTSD, uh, depression resulting from you know, a deployment. And what they found was that guys who are motor T, so truck drivers, had a really reduced risk of depression, anxiety, PTSD, things like that. And what they attributed that to is the quality of sleep they're getting. A lot of the times during a, a deployment, if you're you know, doing infantry or some other kind of combat MOS, uh, they're just sending you out there and you're not getting any time to mentally you know, decompress and think about everything that's going on versus the guys who are driving you know, in motorcades, which are you know, one of the dangerous positions in, you know, especially in Iraq or Afghanistan with things like IEDs and roadside bombs, 
Those guys are in a highly stressful job, but they're required to get a certain amount of sleep in order to drive this vehicle. It's almost unfortunate that they're not putting such an emphasis on sleep for you know other MOSs, other jobs, and you know billets in the Marines or you know other armed forces, because it's it's really you know proof in the pudding showing that if you're getting a good night's sleep, then not only is your body recovering, but you're getting that mental recovery, and you're able to compartmentalize exactly what kind of went on during your day, and then kind of you know separate that from what you're dealing with now, and that you know affect things like nightmares and night terrors, etc. Um, so that's a really brief overview. I think it's so important. Sleep is huge. It's one of those things where it's one of the first things that we tend to cut out when we have a busy schedule. But again, like anything else, if you don't put an emphasis on this, then your, your sleep isn't going to improve. And a lot of people spend a lot of time, you know, watching Netflix and all these different TV shows. And what you're doing is you're, you're gearing your mind up and you're getting all of this information in versus you'd be so much happier and healthier if you just shut off the devices and took more time for yourself to really put an emphasis on sleep. So this is a really brief video today. I hope this helps. I hope I gave you some little insights as to you know how to gain control over your sleep. Really getting a schedule. Um, there are some supplements that you can use. I think as long as you're using some kind of light therapy, especially in the morning, you're really shutting off those screens late at night, at least you know an hour, hour and a half before you're trying to go to sleep then you don't really need all that stuff. Um, you know, things like melatonin or magnesium um, can be great. There are a lot of different herbs and supplements that people use in order to you know, improve their sleep. Um, but take care of yourself and get some rest. Your body needs it. You work hard, you deserve and earned your rest. So that concludes today's video. I wanna thank my special guest host, Bailey, for uh, being so good and not barking during the whole presentation. Uh, thank you so much, I appreciate it. If you liked the video, Share it, leave a comment. I appreciate all the support. Thank you so much to everyone. And I will talk to you soon. Peace.